Hey, I'm Doug. Welcome to Backcountry Pilgrim, a channel devoted to hiking, backpacking, and camping. If you are into those things, why don't you click subscribe, and then we will talk about what is in my day pack. I did a big gear reorganization yesterday, and one of the things I wanted to do was leave a day pack packed with some pretty regularly recurring items that I take with me on hikes so that I wouldn't have to repack the pack every single time I wanted to go on a hike. And so what I did was I pulled up my backpacking checklist, which by the way, is available to you for free. If you go down to the video description and click the link, you can download it and use it yourself. I had a special tab just made for day hikes, and this list reflected what I would bring on kind of a long day hike. So what I did was I just put all of those things in my day pack, and I figured that it's a lot easier to get rid of items at the trailhead before I start hiking than it is to have to repack this thing every single time I want to go on a hike. So what I'm gonna show you is not necessarily what I would bring on every single hike. In fact, there are things missing from the pack, such as all of my tech. Because I'm a YouTuber, when I personally hike, I usually bring phone, camera, extra batteries, charger, etc. But I didn't count those things because I don't really consider that hiking gear. That's just stuff I bring to film my hiking. And believe it or not, there are times I go hiking and I don't record anything at all. So this particular loadout is kind of a maxed out day hike pack, minus technology, food, and water. Less than five pounds. All right, so first of all, the pack itself. This is the Osprey Talon 22. I have a video elsewhere where I review this. This is one of my very favorite day packs. It's not the lightest weight pack in the world, but it's got some great features that I enjoy on the trail. I typically always like to carry my Frog Togs jacket. This thing is a non-negotiable for me. It is completely waterproof. It is super lightweight. I've done a review on it elsewhere that you can check out, but this always comes with me on my hikes because it can function very well as both a windbreaker or as a rain jacket. In addition to the Frog Togs rain jacket, if I'm going to be at any kind of decent altitude, I also typically bring a puffy jacket. This particular one is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Shadow, and it is the synthetic version of the Ghost Whisperer, which you may have heard of. A little heavier, but a lot less expensive. And then finally, whether I think I will need it or not, I always bring a hat. This is the Outdoor Research Sunrunner. It's my current favorite sun hat. Super, super lightweight. Comes with an external cape that you can attach to keep yourself more covered if you end up in the sun. And that can be really helpful too if you end up in an area that is a lot more exposed than you had thought it would be. And then as far as clothing or clothing type accessories go, 100% of the time, I bring a buff. I've done an entire video on these earlier, but the buff is one of the most massively useful pieces of equipment you can have. I try to bring at least one of these with me on every single hike. Although I rarely use it, I have had times where I didn't have one of these and I desperately wished I had. It weighs almost nothing, takes up almost no space. There's basically no excuse not to have it, and that is a bug net. Basically, this is just a net that goes over your hat and head and keeps the critters from flying into your eyes, going in your nose, going in your mouth, buzzing around your ears. For the weight and the price and the size, I don't see any reason not to have one of these. And something like this can make or break a trip if you get into a seriously buggy area. And then finally, as far as wearables, I personally have to bring a backup set of glasses. Mine are prescription, so what I'll usually do is bring my sunglasses and glasses in a hard shell case, and I'll just swap them out as needed. Headlamp. Yeah, sure, you can use your phone battery and create a flashlight if you need to, but that involves using your hands, and if you are climbing around in the dark, you probably want to have your hands free or maybe using trekking poles. And this is rechargeable, so I just make sure it's charged before every trip. So if I end up hiking into the night or maybe find a cool cave, it's nice to know that I have a light source that is not going to drain my phone, and also it will keep my hands free. Then I've got what I call my health and hygiene bag. This is basically all the stuff that I might need to take care of the bod when I'm out on the trail. Vitamin I, ibuprofen, bug spray, ice bandage, luco tape, body glide, and a super lightweight trowel for when you have to drop trowel. In here, I have my water kit. And basically this is all the stuff that I would need if I had to get water out on the trail. So I'm not counting any water bottles or anything that I brought with me. Basically with this little bag, I can transport a couple liters of water and filter and treat it to make sure that it's safe to drink. I have a 
dirty water bag, the Knock Vecto, Sawyer Squeeze water filter, and as a backup, some Aqua Tabs. I typically also like to carry a way to make fire. And so I actually have two things. Number one, a nice brightly colored big lighter, and I have a small ferro rod for striking sparks, a knife. A knife is one of the most useful tools that you can have in the outdoors, and I'm gonna do a whole separate video on what I carry, but for now I'm just gonna let you know that this is the Essie Izula 2. It is incredibly sharp and strong and light, and so that makes it pretty much the perfect backpacking knife. And finally, I also usually carry an emergency blanket, one of those metallic fold-up sheet type things that uh, you can get for real cheap. Now you can find those just about anywhere, but if you want the one I have or any of this gear, I have links in the video description below that you can use to support the channel and also pick up some great stuff. All right, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, would you mind giving it a like? I would appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're into backpacking, hiking, and camping. Until next time, I'm Doug. This is Backcountry Pilgrim. Take it easy. This particular one is the Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer. No, it's not.